This is a ride plate fitting for my personal watercraft, which is a 2008 Sea-Doo RXP 215. Of course, that 215 is the horsepower designation, 215 horsepower. This is what's known as the nipple, the ride plate nipple. The way this works, apparently, is this nipple has a kind of a plastic lip that goes around this bottom edge here. Well, what happens is, and what happened in my situation, is this lip breaks off. So, where this nipple fits is, um, it goes through the hull, through the bottom of the inside of the hull of the personal watercraft. And you can't pull this nipple out without breaking the lip because the, the hull kind of rests on top of that lip. I guess partial purpose is to keep it from popping out of there. So the quandary is how to replace this nipple, thence stopping my coolant leak, coolant leaking into the hull. You can see coolant in the bottom of the hull when I take the seat off. And that leak is what I'm trying to stop. Apparently I need to replace or resolve this broken nipple here. And uh, there's an O-ring that fits in here. The O-ring isn't, isn't here. It fell into the hull or something while I was taking this off. What happens is, as this nipple sticks up out of the hull, and again the lip is what helps the hull kind of hold this nipple down onto the ride plate. I don't think the nipple actually goes all the way through the ride plate. I don't think that nipple is inside the ride plate. I think that nipple, once again, is kind of in between the hull and the ride plate. So this fitting screws down onto the nipple here. It's going to be attached to, um, it's going to be attached to the, of course, the bottom of the hull, but just for demonstration, I'm going to lift it up and see uh, the, the fitting screws down. Once again, a O-ring sealer here, and then the hose, the coolant hose, attaches to the top of this fitting. So the guys at the dealership, as well as the um, kind of offshoot mechanics at the independently run personal watercraft repair shops, everybody's telling me the only way to do this is to take the ride plate off, the dealership's telling me to go ahead and replace the ride plate. Whether or not it's messed up, it's an old ski, it's an 08, you might as well replace the ride plate, they're saying. So my goal is to repair this, to fix this coolant leak, without taking that ride plate off and going through all that big job. The price to fix it pretty much across the board at the local independent dealer, excuse me, the local independent repair shops and the dealerships about the same price, $600, parts and labor. So, and that's with the replacement of the ride plate. I might save a couple hundred bucks without replacing the ride plate if I go to an independent shop. But the guys at the dealership where I go to there, or the guy that runs the, the shop is saying, go ahead and replace the ride plate. I don't think he'll do it unless I replace the ride plate. So my proposed solution here, as you may be now waiting with bated breath for me to hurry up and get to the solution, is, ta-da, this three-quarter inch piece of PVC. Now, my idea here is to put this PVC in here, then this is gonna go down through the hull, into the ride plate. Now, if this pushes all the way down to the bottom of that ride plate, then the, of course the coolant is not going to be able to get out. It's going to be, um, there's no room for the coolant to get through here, so I'd have to lift it up off the bottom of that ride plate a little. Unless, maybe I could glue it to the bottom of the ride plate, actually drain the coolant out of there, kind of wash it out, uh, that's going to be a question I post here, how to drain the coolant out of that ride plate. Then wash any residue, any coolant residue out of the ride plate and take it maybe a hair dryer to it or just let it dry over time. And glue it to the actual bottom of that ride plate. 
Then take a drill and drill little holes through this, through the bottom area of this PVC pipe so the coolant can get in and or out of there. And I drill enough so it's got enough enough ventilation per se, enough uh, enough holes, enough area for that coolant to to get through. Couldn't couldn't be that hard. I mean it's gonna be a little more restrictive than it came from the factory, but I bet you with enough holes drilled there can realize the benefit of gluing this to the bottom of the actual the inner bottom of the ride plate and having enough coolant get through here. So the concern is going to be, at this point, how do you keep the coolant from leaking from the top of the ride plate slash the inside of the hull, the, um, the, in, the, the, the bottom layer, the, you look in the engine compartment, you see the bottom of your hull, the inside bottom of your hull. So how do you get the coolant to not leak from the inside bottom of the hull where um, where this was? How they do that with this part and this part, I believe, is they just tighten this down on there. And there's a lip here that keeps it, you know, keeps this from popping out. So largely the question is how do you keep this from popping out? And I think the answer is going to be gluing it with some epoxy or something down to the bottom and drilling some holes here. I think I still might get a little bit of loss of coolant through this idea, but it's okay. This is an old jet ski. It's an old personal watercraft. It's a 2008 RXP. It's got 520 hours on it. I'd rather lose a little coolant than Spend the 600 on fixing this the right way. Just fix it this way instead of the right way. And I hope it works. Uh, if any of you have any ideas or insight or anything that would be more likely to make this work or have any other ideas to make it work other than the idea I'm proposing here, I would love to hear from you. Thanks very much for taking a look.